Fullness of Peace, Power, and Plenty Prelude The optimist is right. The pessimist is right. The one differs from the other as the light from the dark. Yet both are right. Each is right from his own particular point of view. And this point of view is the determining factor in the life of each. It determines as to whether it is a life of power or of impotence, of peace or pain, of success or failure. The optimist has the power of seeing things in their entirety and in their right relations. The pessimist looks from a limited and one-sided point of view. The one has his understanding illumined by wisdom. The understanding of the other is darkened by ignorance. Each is building his world from within, and the result of the building is determined by the point of view of each. The optimist, by his superior wisdom and insight, is making his own heaven, and in the degree that he makes his own heaven is he helping to make one for all the world beside. The pessimist, by virtue of his limitations, is making his own hell, and in the degree that he makes his own hell is he helping to make one for all mankind. You and I have the predominating characteristics of an optimist or the predominating characteristics of a pessimist. We are then making, hour by hour, our own heaven or our own hell. And in the degree that we are making the one or the other for ourselves, are we helping make it for all the world beside? The word heaven means harmony. The word hell is from the Old English hell, meaning to build a wall around, to separate, to be held was to be shut off from. Now if there is such a thing as harmony, there must be that something one can be in right relations with. For to be in right relations with anything is to be in harmony with it. Again, if there is such a thing as being held, shut off, separated from, there must be that something from which one is held, shut off, or separated. End of section one.